10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands. <gasps> E guys, Mr. T Laxify back. And in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with another top five zombies video. And in this one, this is going to be the top five modded Black Ops 1 guns from this really awesome, cool mod that has just been released. I don't know if it's been released to the public, but it has been on a beta, so I'm guessing that it has. And with this mod, guys, they have added, or Roll on Math 42, the mod developer, has added some really really cool ass weapons for example he's added like the titanfall auto pistol uh he's added really awesome stuff like the speakacy or the asm1 uh the tmg for modern warfare 3 all these different weapons the spas 12 for modern warfare 2 awesome guys i absolutely love it and there's definitely a lot of creativity and with this video i'm gonna be showing you guys the top five guns of those modded weapons i think it's so cool but anyways guys let's head out straight into our number five spot and in today's video this is going to be the op now i have actually made an op that was on call of duty multiplayer or in combat training but he actually added the op in zombies and it's very very powerful it kind of has a resemblance towards the l96 but it is very a lot it's just so much better especially once you pack a bunch of, because when you pack a bunch of this bad boy it gets the hyper beast camo that's right guys if any of you have played csgo you know exactly what that is and it's probably one of the coolest coolest camos out there and especially the best part about the upgraded version is you can continually fire it like you don't have to actually cock back the sniper bullet or whatever you can continually just keep firing that sniper and it's crazy the damage is absolutely amazing if this thing had double tap 2.0 oh my goodness you would be just flying through the rounds this thing would be better than the dsr the only problem i find with this weapon is that the recoil or the knockback every time you shoot it is pretty damn scary or it's pretty damn aggressive i should say because like you shoot it, it's like holy shit where'd my sniper go like it, it just flew out of your hands it's really bad in that way but i still love it for the damage and especially for the look so anyways guys let's head on straight into our number four spot and in today's video, this is going to be the PPSH. Now, that's right, guys. The mod developer did add in the PPSH. And I think you guys all know how awesome this weapon is. It's so great. It's literally the exact same thing from World at War. And it's not like some sort of different hybrid variation of it. No, guys. It's the same model. And, like, let me just be honest. The renders that the mod developer did for these weapons are absolutely beautiful. They're astounding. It's absolutely gorgeous. You might be able to find a download link to this whole mod so section guys you can only unfortunately just play it right now i think on kino and five i don't know maybe at the time of this upload you might be able to play all the maps but again i'm not totally sure but this ppsh is amazing especially once you pack punch it you guys know how powerful this is how fast the rate of fire is and i probably wouldn't suggest getting double tap because if you get double tap you are going to be again flying through the rounds but yes guys the ppsh does make a return for black ops one and I absolutely love it. So anyways, guys, let's head on straight into our number three spot. And in today's video, this is going to be the Raygun Mark II. Now, unfortunately, the Raygun was actually, actually, fortunately, the Raygun was replaced with the Mark II. And my goodness, this version is really, really awesome. It's all these cool custom textures. And my favorite part about the Raygun Mark II is, A, it's very powerful like a regular Raygun. It doesn't have any peripheral damage or anything. But also, with this weapon, when you pack a bunch of it, instead of turning, like, red, it turns blue. So it looks so cool cool when you use it and like the custom textures he added when you shoot it and stuff it just um, looks amazing and i think definitely for black ops 3 they should add like different sort of camos or different weapon upgrades that you can get for the mark 2 kind of makes me uh think of a map on custom zombies called dead ship which is actually made for leg in 24x and you can actually upgrade your weapons multiple times and they change camos and stuff it's really elaborate and i absolutely love that i think that's just so cool and to see this mark 2 just being in full action on five and absolutely decimating the zombies is unbelievable but anyways guys let's head out straight into our number two spot and in today's video this is going to be the ice staff that's right guys you heard it right the ice staff and guess what you can pack a bunch thing this thing into the all's arrow but unfortunately with the pack a bunch version there's no way that you can actually charge this shot so you can't get like a full tempest or whatever and it sort of models the uh exact 
exact same gunshots as the Winter's Howl. So if you've ever used that weapon, it's going to be the same as it is in Black Ops 1, but with the Ice Staff. But what's really cool that the mod developer actually added into the game was he was able to make the weapon melee usable. So basically using the melee on the staff, which is really damn cool. I thought that was awesome of him. I was like, holy shit, like that's some crazy shit right there. But it is awesome. I absolutely love it. You have to try it yourself. It is definitely something to be noted that it's just so cool and even the non pack bunch version is super duper useful like if you have this thing you're going to be set for the high rounds and it gives you way more ammo than the regular winter's howl which i absolutely love because i found that the winter's howl did have a little bit not like just not enough ammo for what it did in terms of damage and stuff but this thing oh my goodness it definitely packs a punch and i absolutely love it and anyways guys set out straight into our number one spot and in today's video this is going to be the wind staff now one thing that's really cool that i forgot to mention about these staffs is that they're actually coded into the game as a china lake and a m72 law if i'm not mistaken so basically they're that easy to get in this game so for example the rarity of getting a china lake is the exact same rarity as getting the wind staff with this mod so it's really really awesome and i think the op models for the l96 i'm not totally sure what the ppsh models for the ray gun mark ii models for the ray gun and the ice staff i think you guys already know so it's really that easy to get these weapons and they're so overpowered i absolutely love it because the wind staff models the exact same animations as the thunder gun and i use this thing on the freaking uh doctor in five and he is always just flying around it's a one-shot kill and it's just so funny his ragdoll he's just like bruh <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it so good so powerful definitely this thing will take you out of all the freaking corners that you will ever be in and it has so much ammo because this is basically modeled as after a thunder gun it has like i don't even know just like a huge amount of ammo i'm thinking like 66 shots in total upgraded like that's some crazy shit unfortunately you can't actually get the segments vigor or the thing on the back of the staff that actually revives other people which doesn't really matter i just think the full front part of the staff is so cool it's definitely overpowered and that's what i love about this mod but anyways guys did hope you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to leave a like again thank you guys so much for watching let's see if we hit 2500 likes for the next zombies video again the mod link should be down in the description if you want to download it there should also be a tutorial video there again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one